give us a biblical prophecy. Yeah. Let's think about this together. Do you guys know how old the oldest person is that lives today? The oldest, the oldest person? Mm, last I checked, it was somebody who was like 120-ish. Yeah, I think I thought it was 120. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so in, after the flood, God said to Noah, he said, there will come a time when the spirit of man will no longer, or sorry, the spirit of God will no longer abide in man, and the lifespan will be 120. Then the uh, spirit of God will no longer abide in man, and the lifespan will be 120. You guys believe in climate change, right? Mm-hmm. It's, I don't think it believe, it just is, is, yeah. Right, I mean... It's just it. yeah. I don't yeah. believe in that. The, in Revelations, it says that the sun will scorch the earth and dry up the Euphrates River. Have you guys seen the Euphrates River lately? Yes, I probably could Google search the Euphrates River. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. In the last decade, it has dried up. It's, it's done. We've seen this in the last decade. If you, if you, even 2016, if you Google in 2016, it was a beautiful river. And now it's dry. And Revelation says you don't think that there was that. rivers that dried up back in biblical times. There weren't rivers that stopped flowing yeah. back then. Also, I mean, rivers stop gonna, flowing all the time. I'm not going to say that you're time. wrong. In no, no, I know for sure. But I'm just pointing out the fact that it says the lifespan will be 120, and then they nailed the Euphrates River right on, and they say it'll happen in the end times. Right? That's the point. Lots of rivers have dried up, but the Euphrates River hasn't dried up. Revelation says. Well, I haven't seen any rivers turn to blood yet either. <laughs> so it's like. Like nobody was. Nobody. They didn't have notepads, right? So nobody was just like walking around, like writing down what Jesus said. Uh, Jesus but, picked people who were writers. We know Matthew for sure wrote and spoke in three, at least three different languages. So to say that people weren't writing down what he said is just not factual or evidence based at all. Uh, There'll be scoffers and people who are uh, tickling of the ears or something like that, right? Yeah, but what the point is, is what he says, right? So he says one would be the age of the earth, two would be Noah's flood, and three is what you guys said when I was listening. Is we've been waiting for this forever, right? When Jesus, we've been saying this forever. And then he goes on to say that a day is like a thousand years to God. Um, but then he says they'll pervert the gospel or the epistles of Paul, right? And if we've seen this, like so many people can turn the words of Paul, especially Christians, right? Because Christians will be persecuted. Christians are the number one persecuted minor group on the earth. <laughs> yeah. And last, what? Yeah, you hold laugh. Hold up, Frank. I, I laugh. Yeah, I, yeah, laugh yeah, I laugh hard. Uh, yeah. Christians are the number one persecuted minor group on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. Yeah, you laugh. Hold up, Frank. I laugh. I laugh hard. Too. Yeah, and I pointed yeah. out that Christians are the most persecuted group. You laughed, but I hope you Googled it now to find out it's the truth. I did laugh. You know it's true. I did laugh. I still laugh you about did laugh. it. I hope you I Googled still... it, right? Because you guys no, are specific, I... right? No, in America, <laughs> though. Yeah. I, well, right. I'm a no, lawyer, America. allegedly, not much of a scientist, but... Give us that prophecy, right? Give us that I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll... Give it yeah, to us warm. So you say yeah. the, wars, the wars and rumors of wars, right? So when Jesus is predicting the end... So a lot of people, there's wars, and there's all these things that we've seen repeat through history. But Jesus says one thing that's different. He says, when this gospel, he even says, don't worry, all these things must come to pass. But when this gospel of the kingdom is preached all across the world, then you know the end has come. Then, and ironic, he knew it was going to cross the whole globe, and he says that that's the only difference in history as we've now seen this happen. But read that holy place part. Go ahead. Well, just read 14 and 15. Jesus, Jesus says, destroy, destroy this temple, and in three days I'll raise it up. And the disciples said he was talking about his body. He then tells the woman at the well, there will come a day when people won't worship in the temple, nor on the mountain, they'll worship in their hearts and worship in spirit and truth. So the holy place is one's body, right? Every Christian knows that. Therefore, when you see the abomination that causes desolation enter the holy place, right? So when something's entering the body, right? And it does say, uh, see the abomination of desolation. Maybe you say that's going into the body or whatever. I guess my first thing to say here would be like, coronavirus isn't the first pandemic and it's not going to be the last one. It's not so much a virus as it is something that's going to be forced on the world and people are going to stop start dropping dead like flies because of it, right? 
We haven't seen that before. But you Rick, 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 you're, Rick in the King James because it's English is now the most dominant language in the world. And secondly, the King James is the most bought and read Bible in the world. But most importantly, the next thing that it says there, it says, whoso readeth. So it's talking to the reader of this book. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Look at that punctuation mark at the end of that sentence, Johnny. What is that? It's a colon and a smiley face. That the word of God is not limited in time and place. Rather, the word of God is universal, including us heathens who live in a post-emoji world. Is that is that your argument? <laughs> the most universal symbol on earth is right there in the book, and it's telling you to pay attention. It, maybe if it had a minus symbol in between the colon and the closed bracket, but like it, it's just it's just some punctuation. I, what is that? It's a colon and a smiley face. Our first caller would say we're just not open, or we're not we're not accepting the the uh, the truth, or we're not accepting the evidence. That might be the case at the same time. That's prophetic. Jesus is real. Congratulations. Congratulations.